everyone, uh, Emma. Today we're going to talk about uh, a certain backstabber slash shitty friend. And I'm getting messages from people right now because of it. Well, there's this friend that I have. She'll probably see this in the point matter. I don't give a fuck anymore because she's a selfish little bitch. Backstabber, liar, faker, two-facer. Basically everything in the book that you could call a girl that takes a side of your ex instead of you. This is a girl I've known for a while, and I love her. Well, loved her. Until she fucked up. And chose the side that shouldn't have even been a side. She should have had my back, and she didn't. But, meh, whatever. That's, uh, that's life, I guess. I just want to let all of you know that, uh, my fairy tale is what I make my life to be. Sorry I'm not some pessimistic bitch who thinks everything is terrible. It's raining. Oh, it's so shitty. It's too hot. It's too cold. This cookie is half eaten. No, it's half not eaten. <laughs> the sun makes life go around. It's hot. It's nice. It's beautiful out. The rain? It makes me calm. It makes me peaceful. Whew. That doesn't bother me. Guess what? Whatever. Me? Not wearing makeup. I don't care. Because guess what? I don't have to cake on 12 things of makeup to make myself feel pretty. I don't have to cake on 12 things of anything to make myself look pretty. Yes, I have image issues. But you know what? I don't let it stop me going from the beach in a bikini. I don't let it stop me from taking who I think I deserve. My ex is a shitty person. Cheated on me. Lots of times. Don't know why I stayed with him. Because I thought I loved him. I thought he loved me back. Stupid, right? I know. <laughs> but, uh, my friend, real friend, Jesse, who we've been friends since middle school, didn't even talk for two years, and the day that he broke up with me, she grabbed me and took me out and partied with me and supported me through the whole thing. She doesn't judge me. She doesn't tell me what's right and wrong. When I vent, I vent, and she takes my side, which she knows me so well. And this other girl complains about everything. It's like, what? No, why are you doing that? You're just dragging people down. Yes, I understand. We all go through those phases where we're in a depressed state. But girl, you're alive. You're alive. You have your family. You have your boyfriend. You're engaged. Why are things shitty for you? I understand you have your crap, but so does everyone else. You don't have to take it out on every other fucking person. And you've hated me? Oh, okay, so that's why you were crying on my shoulder? Because you hated me. Okay, okay. And, um, for you taking his side, I deleted you so there wouldn't even be two sides. It's just that one that you can keep. You can keep his side, and you can keep flirting with him. That's okay. I'm sure your boyfriend would love that. Um, anything else? Anything else? Oh, and when I hit rock bottom, I'll make sure to call you from my nice little loft that I worked so hard for. I'll make sure to tell you about my family, who I didn't jump into a relationship when I was a teenager. Thank God I didn't marry him. With my beautiful, amazing husband. You know what? That's what I want in life. It's not a fairy tale. It's a goal. It's what I set for myself. Do you have any? Are you gonna reach that? If you do, good for you. I feel glad for you. If you don't, meh. Karma. Karma will bite you in the ass. And you know what? Not everyone liked him. They just put up a front because it was your party. Okay? So I'm not gonna name names because we all know how you like to fight with people. And this, this is just a video to vent, because I just found this out two seconds ago. Yeah. A lot of people are pissed. A lot of people. But you know what? I'm glad. I'm glad that you're not going to be a dramatic person over this. You can talk behind my back. Feel free to talk to my ex about behind my back. And you know what? You can make fun of my image all you want, and how it's so disgusting and makes you nauseous. But that's kind of too bad for you, because other people think it's beautiful. 
So I don't know what your image is of nauseous, but from what I heard, I was skinny. I was perfect. You wish you had my tits? Okay? Yeah? Okay. What I thought. And the next time, I don't know, whoever else friends, if they break up and you want to be buddy-buddy with their boyfriend, a little advice. Make sure they're not, you know, like me. Oh, apparently, you know how I am, so don't worry. You'll know. <laughs> oh, Christ. And I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did. And I'm glad you said all that. And I'm glad I found out that you said all that. Because you're the world's scummiest human being. Next to him. Actually, you two would be perfect for each other. Which I mean, doesn't seem to bother either of you, so go right ahead. Fuck him. Have his kids. I don't really care anymore. Because I have someone, hopefully, if he sticks around long enough, that treats me good. That does dropped all female contact without even me telling him and without cheating on me and me having to tell him no he did it on his own free will because it's respectful oh and i hope he doesn't cheat on me as many times as he did which was basically throughout our entire relationship i found out more and more and more that he kept cheating on me so no i don't hold grudges i actually got over the fact that he fucked someone else at the beginning of a relationship and I tried to move past it, I tried to make things better, but he kept fucking up. Kissing other girls, sexting other girls, telling other girls that he wanted them. So badly. Yeah, so there's that. <laughs> Don't think you know my whole life just because of what he says. He cheated on me my entire relationship. Three years. Almost three years. And what I tried to do? Make it better. And I got mad. Who wouldn't? I got upset. Who wouldn't? And then I continually started to resent him. Who wouldn't? Because <laughs> in my heart, I thought I loved him. And I still do have feelings for him, and it sucks that he chose that path of disgusting, nasty hatred. And a shitty way to go, by the way. But you know what? Calling me a cunt five times and then feeling super bad that you showed up a half hour early when you were warned? That I was gonna be there? Oh, Han, I have no pity for you. And shaking in front of my dad only makes it that much better for me. I'm glad you're scared. I'm glad you're upset. I'm glad you were shaking, because you deserve it. You deserve to get thrown in the mud, through the mud, through rock, sticks, stones, to get burned in a fire. But you know what? Even if that doesn't happen, it doesn't matter. Because I can get my own revenge by living my life the way I want it. To find a guy that'll treat me the way I deserve to be treated. And you did a perfect job. Except you weren't there. And my girl is here right now, so I'm gonna go and maybe there's a part two, but backstabbing bitch, have a good life, ex-boyfriend, have a wonderful life. Cause you know what? Karma's karma and it'll always be there. So uh, this is Emma signing out. Peace.